What's up guys, your boy Tyler here. Today I'm going to document the aftermath of Hurricane Ida. As of now, you may know, uh, this, hurricane, this hurricane is categorized as a uh, category four hurricane and uh, it's gonna produce over 130 some miles per hour winds, which is quite freakishly crazy. Um, you have to stay tuned and watch for this uh, aftermath of Hurricane Ida. Um, stay tuned and watch and uh, stay safe. Alright, currently it is 10 o'clock uh, a.m. and uh, the storm is going to reach here by 7 o'clock p.m. As of now, me and my folks are boarding up our windows and uh, getting ready for the storm. Right now, my dad's picking up all this trash to put all this aside. That way it won't fly everywhere. And uh, so far, uh, it's going good. I will say the plants, all our plants right here, is probably going to be dead by the time we go out and see once the storm has finally calmed down but uh there you go it's a, a piece just fell down right now as we speak and that was even like 30 miles per hour but uh, as all as all i know all my neighbors has evacuated and pretty much we are the only ones staying here to ride it out so hopefully pray for us and uh keep us in your prayers What's up guys, your boy Tyler here. Quick update, it's officially around 2.34 and my house just lost power. As of now, as you can see, the wind on Hurricane Ida is strengthening as we speak. Uh, as far as I know, some things flipped over, some bridges has been falling off, but uh, this isn't uh, the peak of the hurricane yet. And I don't know if you can see the sky, but the sky is moving quite fast. I heard that the hurricane is moving around roughly around 13 miles per hour so not until Monday morning which is around 1 o'clock p.m. is when the storm should subside but right now my family and I are still in the midst of it. As far as I know the storm is quite crazy but uh, like I said keep us in your prayers and uh, that all of us in Louisiana are safe. But uh, going back uh, Nothing much has been going on. Our whole house has lost power. And uh, safe to say, nothing's really turning on. So far, we got all of our batteries charged up on our phone. So, as you can see, this is my camera light. My mom's reading some of the on the phone. Hello, mom. Hi. And we got my dog, Luna, right here. She's very scared of the storm, so she's just standing next to my mama. And my dad's setting up the generator so we can get power through the food and refrigerators and stuff. But uh, I'll keep you up with more updates. Stay tuned to watch. Thanks. And uh, out here, I just want to give you a quick update. This is our generator. It does, we've been having a generator for almost 10 years. Approximately, it can produce over 500. 5,650 watts and uh, normally we just use this for the uh, two refrigerators right there and the one inside the house So far we got 12 gallons of gas and hopefully we can uh, stretch this for the next couple of days if so depending on how bad the storm is but uh, Hopefully it will subside Okay guys currently five o'clock and uh, This is the damage right now. I would say this is the, almost the peak of the storm uh some of them are my dad's metal roofing that's being flown all over there in the corner. And then we got some trees moving at a rapid speech pace. I don't know if you can hear this storm, but this storm is quite, quite strong right now. And my, if you see the trees over there, the trees is all the way moving. It is really ravaging on right now. The storm is so super powerful. It's quite crazy. All right, quick update. Currently, uh, basically the wind is so strong, it's pushing the water through the window into our house, which is quite unique. I've never seen this before, so this is the first time it's happening. And uh, quite crazy, quite crazy as I would say. But uh, anyways, um, hopefully we clean this up quite nice. 
and uh, everything will be just all right. Far which is gonna just a little bit, but it's not too much. So yeah, pretty much. Just gonna clean this up, and it will be all good. What's up guys, boy Tyler here. Today is the next day, Monday, around 8 o'clock exactly. And I uh, just woke up and uh, the aftermath of Hurricane Ida is quite uh, terrible. As you can see, uh, we got a lot of trees falling down. It's almost like an apocalypse to me. Uh, over to my neighbor's side, a lot of the tree has fell down, which is quite uh, bad in his case. Uh, you see a lot of beach, tree bridges falling down. We got this tree that fell down, we got some tree bridges that fall off, and the back is pretty much more terrible. More, as you can see, my neighbor's side is uh, quite terrible. And uh, most of his trees over here is either slanted or falling down, and one in the back is falling down too. Over here, all my dad's tree has fallen down, especially this branch right here. That branch is down completely in half. As of now, we turn on the generator to uh, power up our refrigerators and freezers to keep the food, uh, you know, at least more uh, alive in the sense. All, all the leaves on this uh, persimmon tree has fallen down and uh, it is looking not too great for us, but in a general sense, our uh, house is still intact, which is quite nice. So. Yeah, this is pretty much the aftermath of Hurricane Ida in our sense. Hopefully we can re rebuild from this and uh, I'll keep you more posted on the next few more updates. Thanks. What's up guys, your boy Tyler here. Right now it's roughly around 6 o'clock p.m. and uh, I just got done uh, having my father taking off all the boards off the windows so we can have some light within the house. As of now, we're just cleaning up and uh, pretty much just chilling because I heard that we might be out of power for about one month. So we just gotta see where life takes us. But uh, I'd like to thank you for watching my videos. Um, click the subscribe button and the like button and have a blessed day. Stay safe. Thanks.